If you look close, you'll notice there is something different about the way these kids are playing pool. There is only one pool stick. This teaches them to share and to wait to take their turn. Children ages 6 through 18 find a positive place to stay right here at the Boys and Girls Club located in the historic Harrisburg area. It's fun to have a lot of games, and I got a lot of friends here. You play outside, sometimes I play soccer, baseball, and basketball. Along with having fun with friends, they learn social interaction skills that will help them succeed in life. You have to be respectful to the adult. And you have to stay with your group and stuff. You have to listen. Every day, nearly 130 area youth find a sense of belonging at their club. Executive Director Cam Kaiser says the Boys and Girls Clubs are needed now more than ever. Unfortunately, right now, the statistics are not on our side. Obesity is increasing. Um, academic performance is steadily declining. Teen pregnancy rates are on the rise again. We have more and more single parent homes, so there is always a from that, a greater need for um, positive role models, um, mentoring, tutoring. Staff and volunteers help with homework and other activities, but they work in close quarters because offices fill classrooms. But soon, that will be a thing of the past with the help of university. University Healthcare Foundation recently donated a former bank property to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Augusta. After renovation, this building located at 206 Millage Road will house conference rooms, administrative offices, and a training area for the Boys and Girls Clubs. We are so excited um, to have this incredible opportunity. The location is absolutely perfect because it's centrally located to all the, the four clubs that we have now. It's truly a blessing. Pete Brody, president and CEO of University's Healthcare Foundation, says it's University's mission to help the community and deliver the very best in healthcare, but to also support the nonprofit initiatives to serve as a safety net in the community for many of those organizations and to, to be a major player in support of uh, the social and healthcare needs of this community. University delivers millions of dollars in indigent and charity care every year to help build a healthier community. This includes financial support of Christ Community Clinic and the health clinics in the 30901 and 30906 areas where patients like Lydia Malpass can see a physician close to home like Dr. Angela Overstreet. Bye. And we still offer high quality health care. We're very proud of that. We're here in the community. We want to stay in the community. We want to do the best job for our patients. University also supports Project Access, another program designed to help people who cannot afford insurance but do not qualify for federal assistance. Mr. Brody says these programs are absolutely needed. This provides people with access to primary care that they would simply not have otherwise. And it, and it, it has been well received and in the community and well utilized. In addition to university's financial support of these valuable programs, members of the university hospital medical staff contribute around four million dollars of their time to care for indigent and charity patients through Project Access. University also provides free health education and wellness programs throughout the year, including the Heart Month health fairs offered in Richmond, Aiken, and Columbia counties held in February. Out of the 1,450 residents who participated in one of the three health fairs, more than 48% had high cholesterol, which could lead to future cardiovascular problems. University goes the extra mile by hitting the road with the area's first digitally equipped mobile mammography unit. This 40-foot unit helps more than 4,000 women access life-saving mammograms each year. This community outreach program helps eliminate barriers by making it faster and more convenient for women to have a screening mammogram. Additionally, over 600 free mammograms were provided to uninsured women who could not afford the cost of a mammogram. Okay. Grade is aggressive. Okay. 
blood. University's Breast Health Center also offers a comprehensive array of well-coordinated breast health services, including education, diagnostic testing, treatment options, and a boutique. Another special service offered once a month at the Breast Health Center is the Pink Magnolia Support Group. I need some volunteers. Investing in education is one of the ways we're helping to address the growing need for nurses. Over the next two years, University will give $336,000 to Augusta State University to pay two assistant nursing professors. This partnership will bring more students through their nursing program. It's been great. It has provided opportunities for students that we couldn't take simply because we didn't have the faculty to do that. So with the additional faculty, we've been able to increase our admissions. And as I mentioned, for the first time, I believe we are very close to, to graduating 100 students, and that is a major milestone for us. With the support of university, a two-year program is now also in place at Augusta Technical College. Back at the Boys and Girls Club, a very appreciative staff that is also in the business of helping others. The children in our community are the future leaders. Um, there's not a better investment than you can make than in the children that, that we have. I think university on a day-to-day -day basis not only provides excellent health care to our community, but they reach out and give it back. As you have seen, at university, we care for and about our community.